I think you should start the video. <sighs> Can can so I just weird. can I just let my creative juices flow? I'm nervous around you. <laughs> Put on your best Tory voice. Cookie, cake cookie, cake cookie, cake cookie, cake cookie. <laughs> This is a weird start to this video, but um, I had my boyfriend do the intro, and it was so bad. Um, so you'll see it in a minute, but I just wanted to say, hi, um, welcome back to my channel if you're a returner. Um, welcome if you're new. This video is going to be answering questions with my boyfriend, and um, I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, <laughs> um, welcome back to uh, Tori's YouTube channel. <laughs> um... I don't know what I'm doing here. Anyway, yeah. No, I don't think there's an actual answer to life. I think it's just all a idea planted in humans and their higher intelligences in order to feel some level of accomplishment. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> the first question was asked by Catherine, and um, she asked, how does it feel dating a baddie? And so I asked, you know, who is this question directed at? And she said, um, yes. So... I guess we both have to answer this one. Um. But I think there's distinctly one here who is a baddie. After that, no. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel? Um. Wish I could tell you. <laughs> I think it's pretty great. So, second question was how long have you been together? <laughs> Okay, you started staring at me and I instantly was like, whatever I say, even if it's right, is wrong. <laughs> um, five months? now? Yeah. Okay. I, I didn't know how specific cool. she wanted me to get, like... <clears throat> Next question. This was asked by six freaking people. Okay. Um, how okay. and when did you meet? Do you want to tell this one or do you want me to tell this one? Um... We met because I have been a cook at McDonald's for, well, at that point it was about two and a half years, um, and she just got hired, um, and then I could, I, I could see her eyes and she's like, ooh, and Shut so I was up. like, alright, alright, <laughs> let me work my magic here, so I gave her the, hey kiddo, you new here, and she was like, yes. Yes, I am. And uh, we spent a lot of the summer together with one of our friends, Kyle, and we all just got to know each other really well. And then at some point, we were like, You're kind of cute. You want, <laughs> you want a date? Cool. So we met in. End of June, beginning of July. Yeah, I was gonna say June, July. Because we met my first day, and then you got suspended. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have this problem where you want non-slip shoes, but he wears no. Converse. When did you start dating? <laughs> well, Why what? were you thinking about that? <laughs> what does this happen? Because I do it all the time. Stop staring at me, please. The fact that you don't know when we should... Listen, every time fine, you, like, grill me for it, I forget. Every time. You ask me all the time, and I'm just like, bam, have it. And suddenly, as soon as you're All I'm hearing this... is excuses. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Not to the catch it. <laughs> when was it? I don't remember right now since you're being weird about it. Straight up. Like, as much as that sounds like an excuse. August 11th. Um, this one I can't answer. It's favorite foods. Okay. This is actually you a trick question it, by all means. <laughs> Literally, it depends on what I'm craving because no, I will eat. You food. have to answer my favorite food and I have to answer your favorite food. That was not specified at all. Anyway, okay. So Sorry, I forgot to lock that one for, down. For like the favorite type stuff, we have to answer for each other. <sighs> That's why I said I can't answer this because I have no idea. Your favorite food is literally. I have all of the above. <laughs> There's nothing you won't eat. For you? What do I always ask for for dinner when my mom says, what do you want? I like paschetti. Yeah. It's my favorite. 
I know it's not actually Peschetti, damn it. <laughs> Favorite color. I got this one. Yours is purple. Yep, yours is blue. <laughs> Who said I love you first? I don't remember. <laughs> in a platonic way or... Who, like, in an actual way. Oh, that that was definitely me. Because it was easier. Because I'm a big baby. She, she was dealing with... Uh. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, so basically, um, I told everybody that I platonically loved him. I was always like, oh my god, I love Skylar, but it's platonic. We're just friends. It's a cover-up. It's absolutely a cover-up. Anyway, so he said I told it first. you guys from the beginning. I was working my mojos, so... Stupid. Um, I'm, listen, I'm sorry. You just... But it was easier for me because I wasn't tied down, you know, as... <laughs> um, what's each other's favorite song? Um, the only one that I you told me the other day that Damnation was one of your like favorite songs, but you have a lot of favorite songs. Well, I was gonna say the problem is is I have a playlist and literally like every song I'm like, oh, this this is it. Yeah, like this, this one's my it. favorite. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, mm -hmm. this one's my favorite. Um, so Damnation by Heat of Damage is very well done. Um, that's very professionally said. Listen, I've been listening to like <laughs> metal channels You're for like, way it's too very long. Very well done. Um, Are you gonna say my favorite instruments, song? vocals, sweet little lick in the middle. Um, I'm gonna go with Ramen Noodle by. <laughs> uh, I don't have a favorite song. Kate Stephenson. Yes. yes I don't so have cute. a favorite song, but it's a good one. Straight up, don't believe that. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Stop! Stop! <clears throat> What's your favorite feature of me? And then I have to give my favorite feature of you. Yeah, I just, I, I, I'm so excited for this. The reason we're chuckling is because he's a child. I, yes, absolute child. Is anyway, it, what's your favorite feature of mine? Honestly, your eyes. Your <gasps> mine eyes, your eyes. Straight up melt my soul. My favorite feature is your eyes. They are pretty damn beautiful. Do we need to close They're up pretty. for them? Cooties! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> what food does the other dislike the most? Well, it's weird because, like, she's lactose intolerant, so I'd be like, oh, she hates cheese, right? Are you kidding me? This woman eats literally anything she can with cheese. It's a little stupid. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, she's actually a really picky eater. Um, That's true. Yeah, I know. Um, you don't dislike anything. Anything so. outside of your basic go-tos, like pastas. Chicken and... strips. What's up, G? I don't know what food I dislike the most. Probably meatloaf. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I believe you it. don't dislike I any food. It. I don't like any other really weird stuff. Like caviar. Like, I get that that's like a weird high societal thing. I think you're it just poor. tastes terrible. What? I said you were a poor kid. Uh, yeah, I was also a poor <laughs> kid. I I tried caviar once and it was like 40 bucks and I, I... Okay. I don't know. Okay, 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 okay. Um, the next one is favorite shows. Favorite shows? You should know mine um, easily. I, I'm gonna guess either Hilda or Disenchant. I am hurt. Um, what? Neither of those are even close. Um, to be fair, the my favorites are things that I watched before our relationship. You literally you watched those before our relationship, and you said that those are your favorites. I like Hilda because I have a niece, and it's something that me and this little three-year-old can bond over. Um, this is so cool. And then Disenchanted is nice. However, I think it was a sad run-up from Futurama. Futurama had the same... So what's your favorite? Higher quality. Futurama and uh, uh, Castlevania. Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. You showed me yes. that the first time I went to your house. I love that one. What's well, my favorite show? <sighs> if you get this wrong, I'm going to be severely disappointed. Um, well, we've watched a lot of things together. It's nothing we've watched together. Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some favorite movies. Um, yours 
Might be Rango. That's what you said the other day. But you've also got about ten thousand favorite movies as well. So Rango's my number two, actually. You. Why'd you lie to me? <laughs> <laughs> What's my uh, favorite movie? I might have told you this maybe once. I was gonna say <laughs> you never <laughs> said. I don't remember. I can't even guess. Mean Girls. Mm. What's your favorite movie? My favorite is The Count of Monte Cristo. Okay, um, the next one is favorite artists, like music artists. You won't know mine. Yeah. I don't know yours. That's fair. Mine's Libby Reed. Um, it's a tie between Lamb of God or Amon Amarth. Alexis wanted us to do an impression of each other. Okay. She said this one's um, going to be really entertaining. Okay, do, would you like to go first? <clears throat> Let me set the scene. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Tori. Um, I brought my coffee with me. Uh, I can't live without it. But I also brought up a Red Bull mango just in case. Um, just so I can't sit still and then I'm going to complain for the next two hours about how my stomach hurts. <laughs> And then I'm going to go eat something that has cheese on it <laughs> to continue complaining. And then I'm going to whine to my boyfriend the whole time. And then he'll just like cuddle me for like four hours. And then it'll be reasonably fine after that. And then he'll have to leave. And then I will absolutely have a meltdown. Um, yeah. Um, her, uh, what, what's your catchphrase? It'd be like that sometimes. <laughs> uh, I got cheated on and abused, and I said, it'd be like that sometimes. He said, no, it doesn't. <laughs> no, no, the entire principle is that is not how it is. <laughs> as soon as you're like, we're doing impressions, I was like, oh, yeah. Um, what's a bad habit the other has? Twisting your hair and ripping it out, which you haven't been doing recently because yes. I stopped it. I am, um, well, it's also because my hair doesn't feel as uh, soft as it used to. Um, You're welcome, box time. Yours, uh, you bite your nails. You fidget with your hands a lot. Um, you will constantly, anytime I see any bit of stomach, you will suck in. <laughs> um, just, she's got nervous little habits. Go off, I guess. She's okay. <laughs> you know what? You should just be happy, considering that means that I pay attention to you. You know how many other boyfriends wouldn't know, like, any of that shit. Shoe size. True size. Um, you were ten. Where? Or eleven. Ten or eleven. Am I right? Do you even know what size you were? See, it's weird because Converse always gives a little, little extra spacing. Um, so I think These my actual tens. shoes are tens or elevens. Those are tens. Oh yeah, I brought my shoes in here. Um, yeah. Tens. Do I um, five or six? No, no, not five. I'm sorry. I don't know why I said five. Uh, six or seven? Seven. Seven. Cool. Hey. Favorite Ugh. animal. Animal. Um. You've told me this before, and I. I have said it repeatedly. Um, oh, it's the it's the shrimp. It's the shrimp. The, the mantis shrimp. The mantis. Yeah. See, I. Yeah, I'm so smart. Google it, guys. It's really cool. Um. Sloth. I was gonna say, literally, you you're wrong. like I, I'm, I can't even. Can, can I'm, I'm literally know? surrounded. Yeah, I was gonna say, like. This is Mr. Sloth. <laughs> I bought her that so she can cuddle that at night instead of me. Dream vacation, with me. Like dream couples vacation was the question. Like you don't have to say mine. You say yours. Like, answer for yourself. Um, While you think, do you want me to go? You go right ahead. Okay, so where I've always wanted to go is Italy because that's where my grandma's parents are from. And um, it's also just really pretty there. And um, I really like Italian food. So that's where I want to go. And I think it'd be cool to go together because it's a cute little... Like, there'd be so many cute dates you could go on, I guess. My dream vacation is probably going to be in Ireland. A, 
My grandfather is straight off the boat. <laughs> We're so original. Like, hoity toity. You know, like, that's <laughs> that's just the way he is. Um, nothing specific about it. Um, I just, scenery. Like, that's the big one. Just, it's a very beautiful place. I'll take you on a picnic date on the cliff side All right. of the ocean. How many Whatever. kids do you want? How many kids? Okay, this is a really good question. Um, you two. know my answer. Two. Two. That's my answer as well. Cool. Um, only children, single single children are weird. Um, I was the only two, child four. for seven years. Oh, it shows. Where do you want to live? Someplace warmer. We talked about Tennessee. We live in Illinois. It's terrible so. here. Don't ever do it. It was ten degrees the other day. I swear to me, you'll never do it. Please. <laughs> it's okay. We have to save them while we can. Biggest fears. You answer mine, not answer yours. Me dying for her. Just losing the people I love in general, but yeah. okay. Go <laughs> off, sis. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yours. Mine are the really existential ones. Like... They're just weird. Like, she calls me weird for just not thinking about myself. Like, I, I don't... I don't know. Like, I won't lie. I fear death and not just in the essence of dying it's the after the death well right it's like how no time has passed before you were born so after we die time shall be infinite and the idea to get used to an infinite nothingness to even try to comprehend that in itself like That'll I really don't like it in. when you talk about this. This stresses me out. So much. <laughs> See, it hurts. Like, can we can we skip this yeah, part? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Celebrity crushes. Um. You don't have a celebrity crush. You only crushes me. How recent does it have to be, or was it like at all? I don't know. What's your like current celebrity crush? Current, man. Um, that's that's what I was saying. You the only girl for me. Who's mine? You won't know it. Yeah. Um, I think I've told you before, though. For a while, I do know that it was, um, uh, <laughs> I don't know celebrities. Taylor Lautner when yeah, I was a Yeah, Taylor child. Lautner. No, my current celebrity crush and has been for a while is Vanessa Hudgens. I'm in love with that woman. This question could have two answers. It's first date. What was our first date? Okay. First official date and then, like, first time we went out. Like, we hung out by ourselves without Kyle. Because the first time we hung out by ourselves, um, we just went for a drive mm -hmm. for, like, an hour or so. Like, no music, literally just talking the entire time. And then our first, like, date, mm -hmm. what do you think it was? Because I have the idea in my date. mind, but I don't know if you... First official date. All I was thinking of was when we went to the drive-in with your mom and Ricky. Okay, okay, no, yeah. Because that's technically the first time, like, we, like, went out together. Yeah. And that's when I met, like, your mom Bam. and Ruby and Adam. Bam. Yeah. Who takes the longest getting ready? I'd like to argue it's him. I'd like to argue it's her. You take the longest showers of anyone I have ever met in my entire life. Okay. Like, I could get in the shower, wash my hair, and shave my legs as well as like the rest of my shower routine and you'd still take a longer shower you remember that whole like existential terror thing yeah i just lean my head against the wall when i think about that so arguably yes however when i worked at mcdonald's um i would always set my clothes out on the bed next to me and oh, i hey, would literally way, wake up first. five minutes before i had to leave to go to work slap those on and leave um, the only reason I like will take longer in the morning is because I have to put on my contacts and brush my teeth. Describe each other in three words. I have to stop all the really stupid stuff that comes to mind. <clears throat> like, See, whenever I saw this question, I was like, dumb. <laughs> but if I was to actually describe him in three words, um, it would be. Is caring? dumb in there? No. Why not? <laughs> because um, it would be caring, handsome. And safe. I was gonna say big spoon, but that's not one word. I know there's so S -M -O -L, many. S M O L. Small. Uh, <laughs> number one. Uh, number two. Learning. So smart. 
you're intelligent. You're learning how to be in a good relationship. You're learning to <laughs> be your own self. You're learning to, you know, cook and because we might get I don't clean. Um, like, small learning. Um, outgoing. Greatest gift. I think it's like that we got each other. I don't know. It was like a weirdly worded question. Oh yeah. Um, as much as I'd like to say it was the ring, Ugh. I think it's the sloth. Okay, that's fair. Honestly, yeah. Cause that's... the ring, you know, it's a close second, but fucking giant sloth. I mean, come on. The hard part is we've only been together for his birthday and Christmas. Mm-hmm. So not 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 much has occurred. The ring. The ring. She got me a Damascus steel and wood ring. Can I show it? It's it's beautiful. Yeah. Mask is deep, Ooh. baby. Ooh. Kids before marriage or marriage before kids? To me, the order has no relevance. Fair enough. Um, if I were to choose, it'd be marriage before kids. But... Doesn't technically matter? Biggest fight. We don't fight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um... We sometimes give each other shit for really small things. <laughs> Um, the fact that you didn't know what day we started dating. Uh, see? <laughs> no, we don't fight, really. Oh no, my battery's gonna die. Who's messier? Um, um Skylar. I really want you to look in the background <laughs> and tell me. Okay, fair, but you leave stuff everywhere. I usually leave my mess in one place. I don't even know what that means. Favorite date? Favorite date? Oh, probably when I took you to Olive Garden. Honestly, yeah. That's, I couldn't disagree. Uh, dream wedding. I haven't really thought about it. I was gonna say, I, I have not thought too much into it. Preferably outdoors and sunny and warm, but not too warm that I don't sweat and get smelly. So it has to be below 50 degrees? No. Because you sweat and complain that you're hot any other time. Favorite memory or joke? Do My favorite? favorite? No. Okay. Um, my favorite joke of ours is that, um, we're just friends. Now it's platonic. As for memory, either our first kiss, or the time you picked me up at Kyle's and spun me around and you didn't know I was anemic and I almost died. That was pretty good. What's <laughs> yours? Um, favorite memory is going stargazing. <gasps> that, yeah. that was a really big one for me because I took her to a spot that, like, only I went when I was feeling that existential dread and then um, you told me the story about the belt okay okay who asked who out it was me it was you it was me and she was like so when are you gonna ask me out and i'm like no it was because i wouldn't let you ask me out because of, you know yeah um and then we were laying in bed and you said something about like when I'm when you let me ask you out or something, and I was like, you know what, do it. You're like, okay, so there's something I'm gonna ask you. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest pet peeve of the other, um, that you leave random stuff everywhere, everywhere you go. There's you leave something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. And that you're always late. Probably that you're mean to me, all the time. Anywhere out in public, she's just mean to me, like. Like, we'll be working together. She'll be like, can you hurry up? Can you, can you stop being so slow? I'm like, why can't you just be like, at least respectful about it if it's a legitimate complaint? Like, <laughs> What date night ideas do you want to try? I got a big book um, that she Again, gifted me. And I a it's big book, a bunch of date ideas. A little book with a bunch of dates and it gives you so. kind of like prices and things that you'll need. And So we just randomize it. Pretty of course, much. due to the pandemic, it's just yeah. not so open, but... <clears throat> what do you fight about the most? I want to be on that side of the bed, and that's her <laughs> side. No, okay, I have my side of the bed, and I have my side of the bed <laughs> oh, at his here she goes. too. And I stay on that side of the bed, I will not go to the other side. And he fights me because he wants my side of the bed. I'm a crippled, skinny guy that's been doing manual labor forever. Like, I don't sometimes, care it's my side of the I bed. just don't want to be on that one shoulder. Then a rollover. And, well, then I'm, like, not, like, with you. I'm just next to you. Go and that, that feels weird. But I love you. Well. 
Don't you know? Take your something out I love then. you. Who apologizes first? And it's always me. Always. Like, she'll do something that's not even, like, bothering me. And she's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, what? I'll, like, look at him and he'll look at me and I'll be like, I'm sorry. Essentially. Okay. Oh, sorry. Stop. <laughs> Who's funnier? I'd like to argue that it's me. I'm hilarious. We both have moderately outgoing personalities, so we both have to be humorous. And so, I think it really depends on the day. Most cherished moment. I guess probably when we went stargazing. It's either that or the first time that you played with Lily. Oh, God. Because yeah. I, there's just something about... Lily, that I would like it, it would unlock a darker side of me if something happened to her. So, um, I think watching you guys get along was really. And now I hang out like with her more than you. <laughs> yeah, and so she will. I'll like go over there and Lily will be like, Story! And I'm like, Lily! And then I'll just play with her. She's um, over there so much. Lily just calls it our, our room. room. Yeah. We'll call it our room, and then she'll go hang out and watch shows with her while me and my brother are playing games and stuff. Who plans and prepares for dates more? I'm going to say her. 100%. Most romantic thing they've done, stargazing. That's up there. That you've done for me. What or What's the most romantic thing that I've done for you? For me, remembering small details is a extremely romantic thing and she does extremely well the only reason she got me this ring is because i once mentioned that i love damascus steel so it's small little details see i was gonna say that probably the most romantic thing that i've done for you is when i took you to olive garden thinking it was the first time you'd ever go and then we were there and you're like so this one time i was here and i was like what hmm? yeah like like small little details like that because i yeah yeah okay so that's that's all um if you want to see Skylar more, let us know. He'll, maybe, if he's... I apologize if it feels as if I've wasted time. Oh, your bracelet just went straight into my ear. <laughs> uh. Okay, um, 